Senator Ralph Alvarado of Kentucky. Good evening, it's a great night to be an American. From the great Commonwealth of Kentucky, the home of horses, bourbon, coal, bluegrass, and the finest people on earth, allow me to express my sincerest appreciation and gratitude for the privilege, privilege of addressing this assembly. I'm proud to stand before you tonight as the first Hispanic member ever elected to the Kentucky General Assembly. Thank you. But the road here was not an easy one. It's a long story, but three failed political runs were lonely at times and full of adversity. With a lot of determination, a lot of grit and hard work, I triumphed and I'm standing before you here tonight. Everything I am, everything I've achieved, I owe to God and my parents. My father was a proud legal immigrant from Costa Rica, my mother from Argentina. And being the son of immigrants, I saw firsthand their sacrifice to provide our family a better life. I watched their struggle in mastering a second language and their strong and quiet commitment to hard work. We didn't have the luxuries that other families had, but what my parents did give me was family structure, discipline, support, high personal expectations, love, and faith in God. They were Hispanic, they were Americans, and they were very proud of being both. They understood the value of preserving our culture and our language, but also the value of an education and instilling a pride and love for our country. Like most immigrants, they understood that their sacrifice would not provide them with immediate success, but the reward would be in the opportunity and success of their children and their grandchildren. But this story is not unique to my family. It's the story of many legal Latino immigrants who come to America. At their core, and this is important for us to understand, that Hispanics believe what Republicans believe. Traditional family values, church, faith in God, the dignity of work, and the opportunity for self-sufficiency that comes from a free society and a limited government. They have simple dreams that might seem mundane to the average American but would sound very familiar to our founding fathers and their core principles. Some flee corrupt government leaders for the dream of liberty and freedom. Some flee crime and anarchy for the dream of safer communities for their families. Some flee hunger and despair for the dream of opportunity, entrepreneurship, and abundance. But all of them leave their homelands for the dream of America, the place where if you work hard, study hard, and obey our laws, you can accomplish anything. Now, over the past eight years, our president and his apprentice, Hillary Clinton, have talked about that American dream, but they have absolutely no idea how to protect it, foster it, or expand it. Today, we have a president who has not only failed to end racial tension, he has made us more divided than ever. Today, we have a president who is itching to restrict our fundamental constitutional rights, such as religious liberty, the right to bear arms and free speech. Today, we have a president who has rejected honesty and transparency, lying to the American people over and over again, from Obamacare to the promise of immigration reform, to fast and furious, to phone record spying, to an IRS enemies list, to green energy crony bankruptcies, to Benghazi, to the VA scandal, to the Iran nuclear deal. The list just goes on and on and on. And with Hillary Clinton, this eight-year nightmare will get far, far worse. Americans face a very important decision. Do we want someone who is brutally honest, perhaps to a fault? Or do we want someone who is brutally dishonest? It is not a decision this year about America moving left or about America moving right. It's a decision about America going up or America going down.
and by protecting the American dream, we can make America first again. There is only one candidate who will protect it for our current and future generations, and that candidate is Donald Trump. And now I have a message from my Spanish-speaking Latino friends at home. A mis hermanos hispanos, nuestras familias se fugaron de países llenos de corrupción y políticos mentirosos. Por favor, no permitan que esa miseria ocurra también en este país. Vivimos en una isla de libertad y oportunidad. Por favor, voten para proteger eso. Voten conmigo, voten republicano y voten por Donald Trump. And I've got a message for one more person. Hillary Clinton, you have failed the Hispanic community and you don't deserve our vote. God bless this convention. God bless our country. Thank you very much.